Sonia and Pavan are twins. A few days ago, they have visited their uncle's place. After enjoying for so many days, today they have returned home. Their cousin Puneet, elder son of their uncle, accompanied them back home. Puneet is elder to them and studies in college. After returning from their uncle's place where they had endless fun, suddenly they remembered their monthly test is going to be held tomorrow at school. Oh Sonia, I am not at all prepared for tomorrow's exam. Please explain the chapter from which questions are to be asked in tomorrow's exam. Pavan, even I have not prepared that well for the exams. Shall we ask Puneet bhaiya? Then both go to Puneet. Puneet bhaiya, tomorrow we have an exam on motion and measurement of distance. Please explain it to us. Sonia, you start explaining. I will help if it is needed. All right, I will try. Pavan, first we need to understand the measurement of distance. Okay. Tell me how much is this distance between our school and home? Hmm. I don't know that much, but I know that it takes 20 minutes to reach school from our home. Yes, but if we run, we will reach in lesser time. And it will take even lesser time if we go by bicycle. Now tell me how else can we measure this distance? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Pavan, do some brainstorming. Think a bit. Hmm. Pavan walks here and there for some time in the courtyard. Okay, it took ten steps to walk from this corner, so that corner that I took around two steps per second. So according to this calculation, it must take me around twenty-three to twenty-four hundred steps to reach school from home. Well done, Pavan. Do you know that during ancient times, people used to measure distance just like this? Initially at different places people started using their distinct body parts to measure distances Since ancient times in India people were measuring distance with the help of thumb and little finger by spreading the palm fully People in Egypt used to use the distance between their elbows and fingertips to measure distance But Pavan there is a flaw in all these ways think what is it Probably the different parts of the different people are of different sizes. Like Puneet Bhaiya, your feet are larger than mine. Absolutely correct. And Pavan, in some years your body parts will grow and your feet as well. Yes, that is why we need standard unit to take accurate measurements like meter, feet, and yard, etc. These units area extremely needed in our lives. Look like the plots of our home and farmlands all are measured we need such units which are same throughout the world to measure things like house walls bed the whole house and street precisely Sonia this is really good when we take part in sports like wrestling and boxing then our body length is also measured along with our weight and we also solve questions related to length width etc in geometry that to according to units but brother i can't understand one thing who have invented these standard units of measurement and how i know this only that the metric system was first used in france and now it considered as a standard international unit system okay You both go and bring two sticks of the same length. Both the kids do as they are asked. Just like this, a scholar has named a stick as meter and asked everyone to measure sticks equal to the first one and use them as a unit of measurement. For measuring long distances, distance equal to 1000 sticks was said to be 1 km. In English, Kilo means a thousand meters. And what if we need to measure smaller distances? For that, if you mark ten equal sized marks on the meter stick and then divide the tenth part again in ten parts, now each section is equal to a centimeter, which is used to measure smaller distances. Now tell me that if we need to measure the perimeter of a bicycle tire how will you do it 
For that, I will take a spinning tops thread and mark it with the help of meter stick. Well done, Pavan. I'm sure that you will perform well in your tomorrow's exam. In the previous part, Pavan, Sonia, and Puneet Bhaiya discussed about the units of measurement. In this part, they will continue their discussion on the measurement of motion. Pavan, now you should know about the types of measurement of motion. Okay, tell me what do you know about the development of vehicles? I know that thousands of years with the invention of wheels a lot of change has taken place in the lives of human beings other than the wheel the invention of the boat had also made a huge impact because of boats and ships it became easy to discover the new world beyond the vast oceans do you know before the invention of aeroplanes people used ship to travel long distances I also love to travel by boat. It sails so smoothly. There's no friction on the water like there is on roads. Yes, but friction is necessary too. Otherwise, we will not be able to walk but slip on every other surface. Like we get slipped on an oily or soapy floor. Yes, that is why friction should be balanced. Walking would be difficult if the friction is too high or too low. After the inventions of wheel and boat vehicles developed gradually and now even aeroplanes are being manufactured but i don't understand what is the relation of the above facts with our chapter there is a connection okay sonia how can you tell if an object is in motion mm, i don't know okay look at the dog earlier it was near that wall and now it is beside the car So what when an object or organism's position change with time then it means that it is in motion but puneet brother how would we measure it if we take a standard unit of time for example 1 minute then more the distance covered within 1 minute higher is the speed of the object For example, a car can cover a larger distance than a bicycle within 1 minute. It means that the car can run faster than bicycles. Bhaiya, is there any standard unit of measurement of speed as well? Yes, if a car covers 50 kilometers in an hour, then it means that the speed of the car is 50 kilometers per hour. So the standard unit of measurement is kilometers per hour. Wow, now I understood. Pavan, I have read that motions are of various types. For example, circular motion and periodic motion, etc. Please explain with an example. Let's take an example of circular motion. One example of this type of motion is a rotating spinning top. A spinning top can keep on rotating at the same place. It doesn't change its place but is still in motion. But if it does not change its place, then how is it in motion? Pavan, the bumbaram, the spinning top as a whole doesn't change its place. But if we put a mark on the bumbaram, the spinning top with a marker, Then you will notice that the mark changes its place while it rotates and comes back to its position again and again. The dials of a clock and fans are also examples of circular motion. And think for a while, our earth is also in a circular motion which causes days and nights. Brother, I understood this, but I have got another question. Earth revolves around the sun and rotates on its axis too and the spinning top can also change its place while rotating so does that mean that an object can be in many types of motions at the same time very well pavan and yes you got it right an object can be in more than one type of motion at the same time 
For example, the type of a car rotates and move forward as well. You kids can also rotate and move together. Pavan, like the way we measure speed, motion in meter or kilometer, per minute or per hour, etc. Circular motion can be measured in rotations per minute. Other than circular motion, another type of motion is periodic motion. An example, this is a swing which periodically moves back and forth. We can measure it in repetitions, per minute or per hour, etc. Other example of periodic motion are a sewing machine and the spring toy which also repeats its motion. Now I have clearly understood. Thank you brother. Thank you Sonia. Now tomorrow I can go and give exam with a free mind and now finish the study oriented discussion and let's go to play.